Hello there, Libra. Welcome. Well, this is a reading for the you versus them reading here. So this is your side. This is your person's side. This is the person you're thinking of, the person that's on your mind. The person you want to know about. Okay, so now, what is your current energy? You're starting something new. Aries, Aquarius energy. Oh, with the truth, you're cutting things out. You're trying to balance stuff in your life too. And you have the strength to do this. Uh, Leo energy, you're being very strong at this time. Things are just feeling like they fall into place for you. But you need to be in balance. And so you might be cutting some things out to start something new here. Let's um, clarify. Why right, do we have the Fool card here? Why right, do we have the Fool card? Six of Wands. Okay, so whatever you're starting this new beginning, you're going to be victorious in this. This is really going to work out for you. You're going to get recognition. You're going to get... Things are just going to really go your way. And people are going to notice you. Okay, what about this... Um, Ace of Swords. Oh, with the Fool card again. Okay, so you're definitely starting something new. It feels like, I feel like very strong, determined energy from you. That things are just going your way. You're very happy about it, and you're like charging ahead. We don't have the chariot, but that Ace of Swords to me is giving me that kind of energy. So what about the Two of Pentacles? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, you might be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or this is just your energy, just being very stable, reliable, really standing out and focusing on your home or focusing on your money, but doing well in both cases. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, you could have a Knight of Pentacles coming towards you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming towards you with an offer here. Or there is an offer of some sort coming towards you. Slow and steady. Okay, let's see what the energy is for the person that's on your mind. What's currently going on with them? They're actually um, in a little timeout. They've been patient. They've been waiting for something. And they're seeing things in a whole new perspective. Pisces energy. They also are very defensive about something. Or they might be protecting something. And it's very, they make, they're very happy about doing this. Or something's making them happy. Whatever they're focusing on right now. And they're protecting. Is they're making, it's making them happy. And here they also have the strength card. Being in their strength. Being very, um. I feel very determined. Leo energy. Very confident. Okay. And this is because they see things in a different perspective. And you do have the sun and strength card here. So this very strong Leo energy. Okay. Why is the hangman here? Ooh. Something's going to happen suddenly. Or something did happen suddenly to give them this new perspective. That's shaking things up. So it's changing things for them. And that is Aries and Scorpio energy. Okay, what about this Nine of uh, Wands? And we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, there might be someone coming towards them with an offer. Someone very passionate. Or this might be coming in quickly and they might be a little defensive. Or they might be trying to make an offer to you. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What about the Sun here? Why is the Sun here? And the world. Okay, so they are they're very happy about completing the cycle. They're done with something. It's finished, it's over. Now they can start something new. And it has been a burden. So they're getting this is an ending to all these burdens that whatever they have to complete this cycle is over. And they're very happy about it. Okay, now what are your thoughts about this person? What are your thoughts about them? You're a little defensive, okay? Ooh, because there are some kind of third-party situation here. And your thoughts are about moving ahead fast. Ooh, there's an Ace of Pentacles, new beginning. I'm getting told a new chapter. A new start, a new beginning, a new opportunity, a new job, a new business. It could be a new connection. Um, but there is, let's clarify why we have this um, nine of... Um, yeah, nine of wands. Why are they protect? Why are you protective? What's going on here? What's this all about? Ah, there has been a lot of burdens that you have been through, so you're a little defensive because of that. Because a lot was put on your shoulders. What about this um, three of swords? The hangman. By this, you're seeing things in a whole new perspective because whatever pain you went through here. This caused a lot of grief, a lot of aggravation, but it put you in a whole new way of seeing things. And it's weird because this hangman's looking at this chair. It's, it's helping you move forward. Cancer energy. Pisces energy. Okay, why do we have a chariot here? Yeah, 
Knight of Cups. Okay, so you might want to move forward towards this person and offer your love. I don't know with this third party situation or this three of swords. This could have been third party. It could have been just some kind of pain you went through. But if it was with them, now you're seeing things to go forward with them. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy with the Knight of Cups. Well, whatever it is, it seems like you're seeing things differently. You're ready now to start something new. And we have the Emperor here, Aries energy. Being in control, being in charge. That's what it feels like. Your energy feels very strong now because of this, whatever that means. Okay, what about their thoughts about you? Okay, they see you as the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but they're very attracted to you. And they've been doing a lot of soul searching. They've been thinking about this, looking at you and and examining things and really trying to figure things out, trying to heal the situation. Virgo energy. And they want to come in quick towards you. And this is um the Knight of Wands. So it's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They want to get a message to you. They want to contact you. Definitely want to talk to you. Somehow, some way is what I'm getting told. Somehow, some way they have to do this. So there is going to be a message coming towards you. We've got all these wands, a lot of passion. They are very attracted to you. They find you very sexy, very desirable. And they're coming in quick, hot and heavy here. After they did a lot of soul searching. Now, why do we have the Queen of Wands here? Trying to figure things out, trying to balance things out. They want to balance things out with you. They want to make a decision. They have to make a decision. It's a two. Okay. And they're a little worried about the Five of Swords. There might be others around that are starting trouble or someone's trying to try someone's trying to um someone's trying to mess this up somehow. Someone is either gossiping or starting trouble or something and they're trying to heal this. They're trying to look for a way to heal this energy that's around that is not good. Um, they're coming in with apology too. So they might be aware of people tr starting trouble and they're trying to fix this. The apology here with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Uh, yeah, they see you guys as soulmate connection. They have real deep love for you. They want this connection. Okay. Now, what are your feelings towards this person? What are your feelings towards them? You want to get a message to them too. You want to communicate. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You you think about this a lot. You're worried about you. There's an ending here that you want to bring back around with the world card. There is completion here that's over, done. And you want to bring this connection back around. Divine timing, destiny, will of fortune. We have here uh, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus. Yeah, there's a... um. There's, you feel like this is destined to be um, together here with this person. Okay, that's your feelings. Let's see, what about the Page of Wands? Ooh, I flipped this over the wrong way. Okay, Judgment. I wasn't even looking at the cards. Why am I having them upside down? I'm sorry, I was not even looking at the cards, but Judgment here. Um, trying to come back around. I did them upside down, but... <laughs> I'd say, when I start channeling, I don't even see things sometimes. It's like Nine of swords oh we have the three see again the three of swords this is heavy on your mind whatever this was this is your feeling like this has to be fixed this has to be rectified this is on your mind this whatever this hurt was this pain you keep on thinking about that you have to have this three of swords here twice and we have the seven of swords not trusting that this is going to go okay there's a completion here an ending of a cycle and you're not sure if someone's holding them back, if you're holding them back, if you want to hold back, if they're holding them back. And we have the Emperor showing, oh, look, and the Queen of Wands wants to show underneath. The Emperor's come back. You're just trying to take control here. You want the power. And you're also very attracted to them, too, with the Queen of Wands here. There's a very um, physical attraction between the two of you guys. Okay, let's see. What? Oh, okay. This... For their feelings for you, we have, they want to work on this connection. They see it as a divine counterpart here, the soulmate connection. That's their feelings for you. They really want to have this work. They see you as the empress. You got the emperor there and empress here. This is Libra Taurus energy. They put you on a pedestal. They have a, a very high regard for you. 
Ooh, lovers again. Yes. Didn't we have lovers before? Oh, maybe that was the other. Sorry, I was thinking about the last card. Okay, but we have lovers here. Gemini energy. So, they see this connection. You have the Two of Cups, the Lovers card, Page of Cups. They definitely want to get a message to you. Two of Cups here twice. The Lovers. This person has a lot of love for you. A lot of passion. Um, okay, let's see. Why do we have this Eight of Pentacles with the Two of Cups? King of Swords. Want to speak the truth. Want to come towards you. Their feelings are very strong and they want, they want to express them to you. Okay, and the Empress... Wow. Here we have the Hermit again. They're soul searching. They're trying to find out answers. They want to heal this connection. What about the lovers? They feel trapped though. They don't know what to do. And we have the King of Cups. They also have a lot of love for you. A lot of emotions. They want to express some. They maybe didn't do it in the past. They want to now. Okay, let's see. What action might you take towards them? What's the action you might take towards them? I just looked at the clock and it was 11-11. Soulmate connection. <laughs> Okay, Twin Flame. Okay, Queen of Swords. Okay, you are you want to speak to them, but you want the truth. And you're standing in your power here. You're the Queen of Swords. They're the King of Swords, it looks like. So, you guys are going to have some kind of um, talk here, it looks like. You both want this. Seeing things in a different perspective again. Wow, look at that. Three of Swords with the Hangman. And three of Swords and the Hangman's underneath. And in between we have this nine. This is really heavy on your mind. Seeing things differently. Trying to understand things. Pisces energy. And again, we have like a the Five of Swords. So this is, I think people getting involved or starting trouble. Or the, it feels like other people's energy that's interfering with your connection. And you would like to have some kind of communication. You would like to offer something here. Offer a solution maybe. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What about this Queen of Swords? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Whoa! Four of Swords. I thought I, This Three of Swords popped out though. At first I thought, no, I said, how could that be? So here we have this looking and thinking about this Three of Swords. This is the whole thing. Whatever what this betrayal was, whatever happens, Hardy, you are holding on to this. You're having a hard time letting go. You're trying to heal it. Here you are, the Four of Swords, trying to heal it. You want the truth though. You want a conversation going here. Five of Cups, a lot of regret, a lot of remorse, seeing things differently. Perspective here. What about this Five of Swords? Ooh, a tower. Something's happening out of the blue here. King of Cups, a lot of love and emotions between the two. You both have the King of Cups. You definitely have a lot of feelings for this person, but whatever happened between you, you can't let it go. It's very... It's embedded in you. It's it's very deep. It really hurts you bad. So you're not letting it go that easily. So they're going to have to fix this something. Because I, you keep on getting the three of swords here. Okay, let's see. What action might they take? So I don't think you, you're the ones to take action. But you're gonna, something's going to happen here with the tower. A surprise. Something's going to come out of the blue. So let's see. What action might they take? They want to fight for this connection. They want the Ten of Cups with you. And they're coming across as the King of Pentacles. They want to become, they want you to rely on them, want to see them as stable. And they're trying to manifest something here. Aries, Aquarius energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Why do we have the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands here? Yes, they want to fight for this love. They're not going to give up on you. They're going to fight for you. Whoa, here they want victory. Ten of Cups, they want this to all work out. They're looking for the victory. And for the King of Pentacles, we have, yes, ten of, um, we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Ten, they want long-term commitment. They want you to see them as stable and reliable. They want victory with you. And they have a lot of love for you. They see you as Queen of Cups. So you both have the King and Queen of Cups here. So there's a lot of um, mutual love here. It's just whatever happened here in the past is you're having a hard time trying to heal from this. You're trying to heal from it. Here we have the Four of Swords. That's what you're working on. Your action that you're taking towards this is trying to heal from this. Trying to see the Two of Cups behind you when you keep on focusing on the, the Three Cups that you lost. And this is very shocking and surprising. Something's happening here that's going to come in as a surprise, a shock. 
so you have the tower once right they have the tower there's definitely some shocking stuff going on here okay capricorn you are signed for dealing with placements in, in your chart or their chart cancer pisces taurus leo and taurus again Okay, so these could be placements in your chart, placement in their chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, or future. Now we'll go for the letters. It's going to be 11 letters, and this could be for initials for first name, last name. If you got both first and last, you get the middle, all the better. Past, present, future people, all for your own initials. Let's see. We have L, V, B, K, D, B. R, Q, P, V, one more, N. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are L, V, B, K, D, B, R, Q, P, V, N. Now for the names. What names do we have for you? What are the names? So let's see who we have here. We have Pia, P-I-A. We have Sonia, S-O-N-I-A. We have Jeff, G-E-O-F-F. -F. We have Divina, D-I-V-I-N-A. And Makwasha, M-A-Q-U-A-S-H-A. -A -A. Nat, Timothy. Matthew, Katia, K-A-T-I-A, or Katia, Katia, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Need two more. And we have Christina and one more. And this is Tammy. Okay, so those are your names. Pia, 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 Sonia, Jeff, Divina, Marquasha, not Timothy, Matthew, Katia, Christina, and Tammy. Okay, guys, so please remember these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if anything resonates. Please leave me comments. I'd love to read your comments. And I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, comments, and also your super thanks. Please, I, I just love you guys. You guys, guys are the best. And um, I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.